All right. Um, <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Um, uh, this is the first time I'll be doing an analysis of any kind. I also don't do much commentary either. Uh, that's part of the reason why I've got this going is because I want to get a little bit better at that, but also because I want to help people out. So hopefully this is helpful. <laughs> um, all right. <clears throat> Okay, so the tactic you're using right now is not one that I use very often, um, or in fact ever use. I always build a three wide combo. That's the easiest way to do it. I always build a three wide combo and put the Puyos inside of the combo as well as on the combo too, or like on the side, maybe three spaces that aren't filled with videos. <clears throat> uh, I'll do my best though. But uh, right now, um, I would definitely, so uh, you're definitely running out of options quicker. Um, you ran out of options at a fortune, so uh, I would definitely practice the three wide first, just so you can get some practice in with chaining first. I feel like the three wide combo is the best way to get started, and you can do this along down the road when you're feeling more comfortable. And um, I'll actually leave a video in the description with both tactics of a three wide and the tactic you're using. Okay, so I I get that this is three players, but and it's harder to do this, but uh, in like a three-player match, no, not a three-player match, a two-player match, you always want to check to see when your opponent's chain is ending, <laughs> because it can end at any time. It could, uh, um, you always want to check when it's ending, because if you place down a piece and it's ended, and you have a situation where you got only Puyos and they can't pop anything, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna lose. So always be checking your opponent's chain. Maybe stop a couple seconds to see if they're close to done. those greens at one time. I would go back, but it freezes my game. I'm not even kidding, it freezes my game when I go back. But, um, you, uh, you popped as much greens as you could, which is not a good idea. 
you want to pop the least amount of Puyos as you possibly can so that you can keep the chain going. <clears throat> because the higher your chain is, the more garbage you're sending out. You always, uh, you want to pop as little amount as you possibly can. That way you have more options in the future. So like right here with these two greens, I see you've got two of the double greens coming, but um, let's say in this situation right here, you've only got you've got a green red coming, and you've got a and then you've got a uh, blue yellow coming. That's going to end the chain because you're not going to be able to put those down in enough time. Plus, you haven't got the tower for the time trick. So just remember to conserve as much as you can. Uh, okay, so another thing you need to work on is speed. Speed will come naturally, but you've got to you've got to force it at first. Um, you gotta force. You gotta just play faster. And, um, you know, eventually you'll get used to it if you start playing like that, because if you place the pieces down faster, then you would have continued your chain, but you didn't do it fast enough, so now, uh, your chain is reset. So speed is definitely something to work on. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> okay, so notice how you had a O in your inventory. Since you're using Marl, not in your inventory, in your next queue, since you had that O and you're playing as Marl, that's a free extension of your chain. So if you see yourself in a situation like you were just in, where you can't continue your combo, Pull out that O piece and just slam it down on a flat surface or on a one block away surface so that you can continue the chain. If you would have done that, you would have also been able to continue your chain. <laughs> Okay, so one thing that you want to get really acquainted with if you're using this kind of tactic, one thing that you really want to get good at if you're using this kind of tactic is uh, the time trick. Uh, the time skip trick, which is something I'll go over in the, um, that's something I'll go over in the Grandmaster tutorial, and I haven't even made the intermediate tutorial, so, <clears throat> um, I can plug in a little, uh, I can plug in a little video to show you how the time skip trick works, because you've got, you've got a, you're perfectly built for the time skip. It's just, um, I'll show you how to do that later. But, um, yeah, so it's something you definitely want to get acquainted with. Hey, also, um, uh, if you slam your Tetraminos down on the colored Puyo, then, then your next Q is going to be delayed just long enough so that you don't get, so that, that you can't continue the chain. But if you uh, do it on the garbage, 
you'll still have time to chain. And the reason that works is because whenever you smash the colored trio down, they take time to come back down. That doesn't happen with garbage. You just gotta make sure that it's only garbage slamming you down though. And not colored Puyo. <laughs> hey, that right there was a good example of, uh, of how you can still continue your combo even if you've, uh, slammed your Puyos down. So, if you make a chain and then slam your Tetraminos down on the Puyos, as they're popping, it will, um, it won't, it won't make the other Puyos fall down. It will, uh, it'll keep the Puyos up in the air until you drop to the next piece. Um, I don't know if that was really a good way to explain it. I'll explain more about that in the, uh, I don't know which tutorial I'll put that in. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. It'll be in one of them. Okay, so right there. <clears throat> right there. In column one, two, three, four. In column four, you uh, you could have put the two reds together and use that double red to continue your combo and save yourself quite a bit of time since that would have popped the blues too. Um, you could have saved yourself right there. <clears throat> Uh, try and be more aware of try in situations where you're getting garbage try and be more aware of what you can do to survive anything that can continue the combo is something you want just be on the lookout for anything that can continue your combo <laughs> There was another example of you needing to watch out for your opponent to chain. <clears throat> of you needing to watch your opponent to see if their chain ends because if it would have dropped down the rock, that would have been the end of the set. <laughs> Okay, so you could have uh, popped the blues too, which would have added to your. Uh, you could have popped the blues too, which would have added to your chain. That was still a really good chain, uh, nonetheless. Um, let me actually. <laughs> Okay, so right there, you see how you put your blues, your red blue in column one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Um, you could have kept extending the chain had you put that in column 7. If you put the blue in column 7. That way you would have still been able to continue... Yeah, it's a moon. Okay. So, you would have still been able to continue your combo and possibly have gotten a crown if you had, um... If you had put the blues with the other blues. Plus that extra extension. Yeah, you would have gotten far still. Because that would have uh, cleared up a lot of space. And you would have had two, three extra extensions that you could have used. Just be on the lookout for small things like that. Small things like that is what can continue a chain. I'll give you crown. Okay, so one thing... <clears throat> I'm sorry. Tetraminos are very hard to come by. They don't come often, and... When they do, they come in like three. There are three of them that come down whenever they uh, do come down. So... You're gonna want to make sure that uh, you don't have Puyos all over the board. You want to make sure that you have a separate place to put the Tetraminos so that you don't run out of time. I would suggest placing your Puyos... Um, placing your Puyos where the lines will clear and having them not where you can place them, like where lines won't clear. And you'll see more of that in the uh, free white combo that I'll put in the description. <clears throat> <laughs> Okay, so right there you could have, uh, that Wheel, you can change the color of that. Um, so you could have saved yourself right there. You can, uh, you probably know this, I don't know, but you can change the color of the big Puyo by rotating it. That's just, uh, something that you'll have to get used to, because you could have saved yourself right there. If you would have made it either yellow or red. <clears throat> um. Okay, so um, definitely what I would recommend is uh, trying the three wide combo first. Um, which, again, for the third time, <laughs> I'll leave a description. Um, I'll leave it in the description. Um, tactics like this are better for when you get comfortable chaining in Fusion. And you get comfortable with the time skip trick. <clears throat> That's when you can really start racking in some serious combos. Um... Try and be more aware of what you can do to continue the chain, because I saw a lot of opportunities where you could have continued the chain, but you didn't. <clears throat> so, 
So uh, be more aware of those. They could really save you in battle. Or at least make it go on longer. And yeah. The biggest thing I would recommend is practicing the three wide. And watching other players play. That's the most helpful advice I can ever give anyone. Is watching other players play. Um, <clears throat> it's it's really helpful. It, it's what helped me is uh, watching other players play. That really does help out a lot. Uh, all right, I think that's uh, where it ends. So I will. I'll get to the uh, time skip trick now. Okay, so. <clears throat> This right here is how you do the, uh, the time skip trick. So I'm going to pop a Puyo. <clears throat> do you see how I did that? Um, so I'll try and do that again here. And obviously your board isn't going to look like this, but... <laughs> the reason that works is because when you drop a piece, it still detects the one falling. Um, it detects the falling one, and if you do it fast enough, it'll just continuously think one is falling. When and when one is falling, the chain can't end. I'll explain it better in the uh, other tutorials. Once you get the hang of it, you've got it. You you re you really do. It's like riding a bike. Once you do it, you you never forget. But um, yeah, if you if you're gonna be doing tactics like those, that's definitely something that you want to. Uh, get really acquainted with. <clears throat> I don't really do that very often. I sometimes have to do that to continue the combo, but I don't know, I haven't really found myself in those kinds of situations anymore. But anywho, uh, that was my very first analysis. I hope it helped. If you, uh, if you've got uh, anything else you need help on, there's a at tutor role in the server, and I can help you out in a call. But uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. <laughs>